We'll go ahead and get started. So start in this uh, easy sitting position, making sure um, to take a deep breath, kind of relax that body, hands on knees, start to roll or bring those ears side to side. Make sure that you don't bring the shoulders up, keep them down and long as we bring those ears side to side. Just a little bit of movement. On that next inhale, bring that chin and tuck it to that chest. Inhale, come to center, bring those hands to heart and doing a seated sun salutation. So inhale those hands all the way to the sky. Exhale, bringing them down. Two more times. One more time. Switch those legs, so bring that front leg back, back leg front. Once again, inhale those hands all the way to the sky. Exhale, release over to your right side. Just a slight twist, bring those right ribs to the back. Making sure that you're using that core to twist, so if you let go, you're still in the same spot. Bring that gaze over that shoulder. Inhale once again, center, exhale, over to your left. Inhale, center, exhale, right. Inhale, center, exhale, left. Float that body over to center one more time. Bring those hands all the way to the sky. Exhale, release that right hand to the right side. Slight bend on that elbow. Reaching up that side. Deep, long stretch. Inhale, center, exhale, over to your left. Inhale, center, once again, over to that right. Inhale, center, one more time to that left. Exhale, center, roll those shoulders back. And again, keep them away from those ears. And release. So starting with one of the most important parts, we're going to start with our core. So go ahead and either grab those weights. You can grab a block. If you have it, you can use the block. Use the water bottles, whatever's going to work for you. So grabbing those weights, coming up into easy boat. Feet are going to stay on the ground. Weights are going to come to the front. You can use one or two. On that exhale, release over to the right. Come center. Float forward. And over to the left. So follow that breath here. Engaging that entire body.
Two more times on each side. One more time on each side. And exhale, release. So coming down to that back, take a deep breath. You can keep those feet down or you can bring them up for a little bit easier. So whatever's gonna work for you today, okay? Grabbing those weights. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, slowly roll that back down. Inhale, sleep, come up. Exhale, roll that back down. Keep those weights in the front. And again, just take your time. Protect that core, protect that back. Roll that vertebrae one by one. You can use a chair. You can bring your feet under the couch to kind of help. But the point here is just to use that core. Pinch those hips. Slowly lift yourself up. Slowly lift yourself down. Two more times. One more time. And release. Come up to that neutral tabletop. Hands underneath those shoulders. Knees underneath those hips. Just take a deep breath here. Give yourself a second. Float those hips to the back. Come to the downward dog. Or come to the child's pose. Inhale and lift up. So go ahead and grab one of your weights. Plant that left hand in the center of the mat. Release that left foot back. Right hand grabs onto that weight. Slowly pushing forward, kicking back, making sure those toes are engaged. Exhale, bring that weight to that knee. So follow your breath here. Keep that core tight. Keep those toes pointing down to make sure that those hips are even. Two more. One more, and slowly release that weight. Keep that left hand planted, release the right hand all the way to the sky, and exhale, thread it through that armpit, coming down into threading the needle. Stretch that left hand all the way to the front. Roll those wrists out. Give yourself a breath. Reach through with that right hand. Hold it here for one more breath. Walk that left hand to center and slowly release. Switch that weight to the opposite hand. Right hand stays planted. Right foot kicks back. Left hand forward. So whenever you're ready, exhale and bring it in. Inhale and kick it out. Follow your breath here. Take your time.
Two more. One more. And slowly release. Once again, bring those knees to the outer edges of that mat. Push those hips back and release into child's pose. Allow that body to sink a little deeper. Those shoulders to open up. Press those palms down on that mat. And slowly inhale, lifting up. Planting that right hand in the center of the mat. Left hand is going to lift to the sky. And slowly exhale, threading it through that right armpit. Stretching the right hand out to the front. That left hand stretches to the side. Roll that wrist around, give yourself a breath. Open and close those fingers. And slowly releasing up one more time. So we're gonna warm up those hands. Go ahead and stay in that neutral tabletop. You can either stay so bring those knees to the back. You can stay in a modified plank, or if you wanna make it a little bit harder, working on that balance and core, bring those toes to that mat. As we lift up, push down, come back. Or this is fine too. So find what works for you. Bring up the challenge wherever it is that you want it to be. Try one if it doesn't work. Try the other. Totally up to you. Two more times. And slowly release back. Come up to those shins. Grab one of those weights. Or actually grab both of them. So release the right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Turn those toes facing the front. Make sure that you have a slight bend in those knees. Grabbing those weights. Take a deep breath here. Slowly push those hips back, add a slight bend forward, and come up, push those hips forward, open up those hip flexors, give yourself a breath here, take your time, squeeze those glutes at the top, tighten that core at the bottom, that back stays flat, if you have a band, you can put the band around your thighs to give you a little more resistance, but this is just fine. Two more times here. One more time. Inhale up, release the right hand to the right leg. Left hand is going to reach the sky, coming into that gate. Use this weight to your advantage. Allow it to give you a little more resistance. Allow it to make you work a little harder. Hold it here. One more breath. Inhale, release. Bring both weights over to your right side. Slide. Side bend here. Keep that core tight and engaged. Feel that body shake just a little. And slowly come up to center, release. Staying on that left knee, coming into our modified plank. So kick that right leg towards the long edge of the mat. 
bring that left hand here, hold, and whenever you're ready, lifting that right leg up. If this is too much, you can also just bend that knee, up and down. So whatever is going to work for you today, find that balance. Remember, you're pushing those hips up. You're reaching up with that hand, whether you're doing this or you're just staying here. Reaching up. Two more times. One more time. And slowly releasing down. Switching sides. This time coming up onto that right foot. Left foot is going to kick open. Find that stability. Find that core strength. Slowly release down. straight, keep that core tight, two more times. One more time. Keep those weights in heart center. Exhale, release. Left hand to left foot. Right hand reaches the sky. Gate. Hold for one full breath. Slowly inhale, center, exhale, come over to your right side, find that balance, find that core, stretch up and side, hold it, you got this, and slowly, exhale, releasing down, once again, this time turning over to our left side. So wherever it is that you're at, whether it's here or here, take it slow. Challenge that balance. more times. You got this one more time. And slowly release down. Keep the weights, actually keep them right in front of you. Plant those palms to that mat. Release either those knees or those toes. Come up to your plank. So wherever you're at, Find that core, find that balance, release, go into shoulder taps. Making sure that we keep those hips planted and straight as much as you can. Go slow. Move really slow. Move with the purpose. Two more times. One more time. And slowly push those hips back once again. Come to that child's pose. Keep those knees in. Give your 
yourself a little bit of a breather. Whenever you're ready, grab onto those weights. And again, come either to that plank or to that modified plank, whichever one's gonna work. Hold here, find that breath, find that strength. You got it. And slowly start to walk those feet or those hands to the back, close to those feet. Come into a forward fold. Let that upper body hang really, really, really heavy. With each exhale that you take, release down. Hang down like a rag doll. One more exhale. And slowly, inhale, releasing up. Bring those weights with you. Inhale them all the way to the sky. Exhale, release over to your right side. Again, release up, that side. Inhale, center. Exhale, release over to that left. Inhale, center. Roll those shoulders back. Once again, inhale those hands all the way to the sky. Exhale, folding forward. Bring them with you. Walk over to your plank. Holding on to those weights. Staying strong. Roll them up. This can also be done from your knees. You get the same benefit. Wherever it is that you're at, challenge yourself. Two more times. One more time. This time, walk those feet to the front of the mat. Once again, come to that forward fold. With each exhale, let that body hang really, 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 really heavy. Rock those knees side to side. Upper body hangs. Inhale, half lift. Keep that gaze on the ground. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, slowly bring that body up. Bend those knees, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale and roll back. Shoulders come back. Weights are in hand. Shake those legs out if you need to. Stay planted on your left side. Right foot comes up to that shin. It's big balance pose here. So find your balance. Give yourself a minute. Give yourself 30 seconds, whatever you need. Whenever you're ready, bring those weights, palms in. Palms in, palms out. Trees move with the wind. You can move with the wind too. Just give yourself a second. Find that breath. It's easy to get carried away. You want to move still, or you want to move and keep that body still all at the same time. If you need to adjust your tree, adjust that tree. That's fine. This is your practice. One more time. 
Leute? And slowly release those hands. Release those legs. Shake them out if you need to. Grab some water if you need it. And whenever you're ready, staying back. Coming up onto the right foot. Again, find that balance. Plant those toes. Plant all four sides of that foot. And whenever you're ready, release up to your tree. And keep going. You'll notice one side is always going to be easier than the other, and that usually happens. One leg tends to be a lot more flexible, a lot stronger, so does one side of the body. Two more times. One more time. And slowly release down. Shake those legs out. Once again, moving to our left side. Stepping back with our right. Come into that warrior two pose. Bring those weights here. Remember, keep that alignment heel to heel. And whenever you're ready, weights out. Bringing that right hand in and opening up. Adjust your stance however you need to. Two more times. One more time. Straighten that front leg out and release into the triangle. Use those weights to help bring that floor closer to you. Keep that core tight. Gaze can be down or up. You can close your eyes to challenge that balance. Give yourself a breath. And slowly release down. Walk the back foot about three feet behind. Come to that pyramid pose here. Stretch that back of that left leg. Give yourself a breath. And slowly come up. Again, shake those legs if you need them. Keep the weight on that left leg. Weight can be on our chest or on our side. Whatever's gonna help. So find the breath, find that stability. Bring that right foot forward. Again, you can bring them here or you can keep them here. Whatever works for you. And whenever you're ready, exhale, kicking back. Coming into that warrior three here. And again, finding that row. This one's a little harder. You can bring that back leg down to help. So this is the same thing. Just depends on what, how hard you want to work. So roll those hands in. Two more times, one more time, and slowly kick that leg back up, shake it out. Turning over to our right side, again, plant that right foot, find that breath. Whenever you're ready, walk that left foot back, heel to heel alignment. Find your warrior here, wherever your warrior is. Whenever you're ready, 
Extend those hands out. Back hand comes forward. And exhale, open up. Focus on that stance. Focus on that breath. Two more. One more. And straighten that front leg up. Hand release into the triangle. stretch all throughout the right hamstrings, those calves, parts of the body that usually get really tight and hold a lot of tension. Hold it for one full breath and slowly inhale, releasing forward. Bring those weights with you. That spine, little by little, come up. Shake those legs out. Plant on your left side this time. And again, wherever you want to be, it's up to you. Bring the right foot for, uh, forward. Kick it up above the hip. Actually, we're doing the wrong side, aren't we? So right leg stays down, left leg comes up. Knee kicks up above the hip and slowly kicking it back. Come to your rows. And again, if you need to bring that back leg down, bring that back leg down. That's fine. Purpose here is to work on that balance, is to strengthen those legs. So keep that core tight, keep that weight on that front leg. So just land the back leg lightly here. And you're still getting the same benefit of this. Just a little bit easier. Two more times. Two more times. You got it. One more time. One more time. And slowly come up. Shake out those legs. Find that breath. Hands are gonna come to heart. Slowly release them up. Side bend to your right. Inhale, center. Side bend to your left. Inhale, center. Rolling those shoulders back. Once you find that next breath, plant on that left side, step back, come to your warrior one, heel to heel alignment, if you can, hips forward, if not, keep that core engaged, just try. On your next inhale, bringing those weights to the back. As those weights come down, you come down. As those weights come up, you come up. Adjust that foot how you need to. That's fine.
Two more times. One more time. Two more times, sorry. One more time. And release. Keep that front leg bent. Hinge those hips forward just a little. And bring those weights in. You got this. Almost there. Working on those biceps with those curls. Working on those legs and glutes. Three more times. And release it forward. Shake those legs out. Get ready to switch that stance. Front leg, right leg forward, left leg back. Find your warrior one, wherever it is, and release those weights back. Sink down, come up. Sink down, and up. You got this. Two more times. And release. Again, hinge those hips forward. Keep that back flat and straight. And curl. Slowly release down. Let go of those weights. Bring the back foot or bring the front foot back. Come to your plank. Release to those knees. Push those hips back. Find that glute, whether it's right or left, and bring those feet forward. Slowly release to the back, bring those knees in, hands come to a T position, gaze goes to the right, knees fall to the left, and our reclining twist. So follow your breath here. Give yourself a minute, allow that heart rate to come down. Little by little. One more time on each side. Bring those hands and wrap them around those knees. Rock that back side to side, massaging the lower spine. Give yourself time, give yourself a breath. Thank you guys so much for being here with me, joining me. So, um, a good thing to do after this, find five, 10 minutes, you're already here. Lay on that mat, just take deep breaths. Let that body and that mind just come to stillness. Breathe in and slowly breathe out. Let go of all the stress, all the worries, whatever you're thinking about. Um, another really good stretch to do before we go, just to kind of allow that body to move around and not be super sore. So come, oh, uh, roll over to your right side. Plant those hands, one hand on top of another, and slowly half circle that top hand all the way around, opening up that chest, opening up that
that heart center, that gaze follows that right, or the gaze follows the left hand all the way to the left. Keep those legs together, keep the uh, core tight. Open up those shoulders, open up that chest. And slowly rolling back. Roll up to set, or come up to center, rolling side to side. Before landing over on our left side, right hand on top, slowly have circle traces all the way around. You can rest here for as long as you want. You can come in and out, just giving yourself that time you need. One more time. So take your time. Take those breaths. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.